So much media, so little time. Who keeps track of it all? That would be me. This is Bob Andelman, and this is the Mr. Media Interview, recorded live on a couple of Macintoshes via iChat on February 21st, 2008. If you think Fox TV is edgy and kooky now, you should have seen it back in the early 1990s when Stephen Chow was a programmer and eventually the president. He commissioned cops, created America's Most Wanted, and earned a reputation for creating commercial success by pushing boundaries and questioning the conventional wisdom. Chow rose to president of Fox Television and later held the same position at USA Network, where he launched Monk. He dropped from sight for a few years, apparently surfing and teaching his kids, and now he's back in a new medium, promoting a new website, wonderhowto.com. Stephen, welcome to Mr. Media. Bob, thank you for having me. Appreciate glad, it. Glad to see you. It's, uh, it's like we've done this before. It's sort of a deja vu type of thing. <laughs> it's okay. It never gets old. <laughs> hey, how did you get involved with a, a website over, uh, you know, going back to TV, for, for example? Uh, well, you see, I, uh, in this particular venture, I have a partner named Mike Goodicke, and we, we're both video freaks, so we look at a lot of video, and that's all I did when I was in television, and then once the internet started, I go, wow, what a great place to watch video. This is better than VOD and all the things that were promised to us years ago. And then uh, we started getting restless about the kind of content we could see on YouTube. Much as we love YouTube, we said, wow, you know, let's go chase the things that interest us. And as it turns out, we love tutorial videos. It's really fun. It's interesting. It's a window in to different people's world. We just can't get enough of this area. I guess it kind of fits into a world where uh, HGTV and the Food Network and uh, DIY Network and things like that uh, are, are really very popular. Uh, they, they fulfill a certain niche that uh, network yeah. television never had the opportunity to, uh, to fulfill, really. Well, I think that's true. I don't think it's any coincidence that our ad sales comes from scripts and that our, we have a content relationship with scripts also for their video. I think the thing worth noting in kind of the television context is the long tail of curiosity is, you know, we always used to make fun of scri uh, not scripts, but cable for getting, you know, there's a health network. Oh, now there's a fine living network. Oh, there's a, like, how thin were they going to slice it? Well, I think the thing that's interesting to me in that kind of progression of, you know, starting out with a big network, going to cable networks, now video is that the long tail of curiosity is unbelievably long and interesting and things that were once considered too small for cable television now become very interesting and have a big spotlight in wonder how to or the internet also what are some of the more popular uh categories on wonder how to well i think that for me the uh, we search and index the entire web for every how-to video that is out there so that's kind of our mantra, every great how -to, free how-to video. The ones that kind of set the light bulb off for me in our process was, there's one where you can teach your cat how, train your cat how to poop in a toilet, and you can stop using kitty litter. I find that to be thrilling, amazing, wonderful, just because without the internet, without wonder how to, without this kind of indexing, why would you know about it, where would you find it kind of thing. So. That's really great. That's kind of a, a light bulb for me. And then the second one, again, in that kind of long tail sense, you can find all things like how to change a tire, how to tie a tie. But where it starts to get really interesting is in training your cat how to poop in a toilet. Or conversely, on usarchive.org, they've got a, an exquisite video on how to grow hydroponic pot that's done by a scientist that lasts 30 minutes that's in high definition. It's like, wow, that's so amazing that the world has already gotten there. So our job is kind of fun. We search and index the long tail of curiosity. So uh, how to grow a hydroponic pot, that would be kind of like an episode of uh, Breaking Bad, wouldn't it? <laughs> you know, uh, I have to tell you, we have come across how to make methamphetamine, and to tell you the truth, we drew the line and said, not for us. Okay, now I want to ask you about that, because... Uh, 
you know, one of my favorites that I've seen on there is how to, you know, how to how to make uh, pictures, people in pictures look naked. What, where is uh-huh. the, where is the line uh, from? And this is coming. This question is for a guy who used to be president of Fox TV. Where is the line? Right. Well, that's a very good question. I can't. You know, I think it's perfectly fine for Bob to chase how to make a woman naked with Photoshop. I got no problem with that one. I think that's totally socially acceptable. And by the way, it's an extraordinarily popular video on our site that we haven't featured it. We haven't done anything. People find that video. That's just an indication of who the early uh, explorers are of Wonder How To. But to answer your question, I, uh, for us, we impose kind of a cable television plus standards and practices. It's a choice. It's somewhat arbitrary. We're unregulated. There's no FCC license. But the answer is, I don't want pornography. That's really clear. And I don't want things that, you know, promote antisocial behavior. For example, making bombs or making methamphetamine, I consider, over the line. Again, these are issues that whole networks spend lots of time debating, but that's our line. Now, what about a video that teaches people how to do subtle political marketing? Because I noticed, uh, yeah. mean, like, <laughs> I noticed that somebody, somebody in there slipped in uh, at, at at your agency, slipped in under the sign that says "Wonder How To." There is a uh, very subtle Obama for President sign <laughs> underneath it. Yeah, that would be Todd Beck, uh, our media strategist. I can't control him to tell uh, you the okay, truth. Okay, that's kind of interesting. <laughs> Um, yeah. Now, uh, I imagine that someone watching this may be curious to know if they've done a how-to video, uh, if they can submit it to you, or, or how that process works. I see. So we're somewhat like Dig in that we, uh, we, we, we index links to other people. We don't personally host and stream video, and that was a choice that we made as a business model a long time ago. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. There's a cost of hosting and streaming. There's also copyright issues that we didn't really feel comfortable uh, embracing. We would rather point and link because we know that that's entirely legal. So the answer is they would have to post it on YouTube or Daily Motion or Crackle, and then they would submit the link to us and we would index it if it's a really good how-to video. Now, if Stephen Chow were to dig into his wealth of knowledge and over the years, and do a how-to video, you know, what would be the one thing that you could teach us how to do? Probably for me, because I grew up in New Hampshire on a farm, uh, one of the things that I had to learn how to do the hard way by asking friends and neighbors was how to build a potato gun. So it's something that's made out of PVC pipe and you put a potato and you use hairspray and it goes at a couple hundred miles an hour. It's kind of miraculous. I just happen to love the idea that there's now a tutorial on how to make a potato gun. When in my youth, I had to call up the neighbor and ask him. It's great. It's it's really changed, hasn't it? I mean, what uh, you know, what kind of thing? Uh, do your kids go to the site? Is there anything that they've been particularly interested in? Yeah, my kids are actually quite fascinated by the site. Uh, being little boys that are who are 13 and 16, they tend to go to magic and pranks, and I think sex. Uh, I have a dirty secret, which is as kind of the webmaster, I can see exactly what they're viewing, but and I can see what you're viewing. So I, I'm not, but I, my lips are sealed. I'm not gonna, uh, I'm not gonna go past your Photoshop exploration. I see. All right. Well, listen, uh, Stephen Chow, a former network TV executive turned uh, web entrepreneur. Thanks for joining us on Mr. Media. Bob, thank you very much for having me. I appreciate it. All right, and folks, be sure to check out www.wonderhowto.com. Join us again here next time.